Hi Aries, welcome to your um, after the retrograde forecast for couples. So I'll be doing four different spreads to show what's going on inside your relationship. Okay, so I'll be doing the uh, how do you see each other, hurt feelings, where do we go from here, and bottom line. All right, let's take a look. First is. How do you see each other at this point? Mm. Mm. Aries, you have to start reconsidering um, major steps at this moment, okay? I feel like you're being emotional right now. I know that you're really hurt, you know. Um, it's not really going to push you to leave or to move away if you're not really, you know, if you haven't really had enough of the situation or relationship. But I feel like you need to wait out for a little while. Okay, let's shuffle this card again. And hmm, let's take a look at... How do you feel it? How do you really feel about each other? You know, the hurt feelings. Okay. Okay, um, it seems like at this point, you really, you know, it's like you really want to move, you want to step away, you've had enough, you're done, and you just couldn't really take it anymore. However, the cards are advising you to, you know, take a few steps back, you know, reconsider your decision, because I feel like you're only being, you know, I mean, there are a lot of hurtful things that already happened and occurred in your relationship, and I can't really blame you if you really want to move away. However, at this point, it's not really, you know, advisable for you to go, to leave, or to file for a divorce. Try to maintain your walls and try to, you know, protect yourself for a little while. If you have to, you know, um, move to a, uh, temporarily, okay, into a different place or stay uh, with the family, friends, or stuff like that. Just to have a space and distance for you to clear off your mind and your energy, do so. But then, the new beginning that you've been waiting for, and the new beginning that you've been wanting and desiring, it will happen within the next three weeks or three months. And this is where you can have a better outlook of the situation. Take a, you know, take a few steps back to have a bigger look, you know, uh, of the picture. Because there is something that you might be missing. There might be a detail that you're kind of uh, missing because you're not really looking at the uh, entire picture. And this is where it's all going to start and begin. However, if you're with a younger water sign, this person will still be combating your decision or will still be like trying to contradict your decision that no, you know, why are you like this? Why are you like that? And it seems like there's also an air sign energy around you who's been offering you let's say an opportunity to be happy and there's somebody who who is ready to accept you for who you really are and you know as a whole but you are also thinking about your own family you're also thinking about yourself you know what um, it, it's like it's it's really flattering to you know to have somebody to still like you court you and to uh, pursue you even though you're already married and already have a family but at this point you are more careful with your decision that you don't want to give your heart out to anyone and all you want to focus right now is to heal move on clear off your thoughts clear off the negative energy and if you need to you know take a take a few days break or take a few days off near the water it will help you you know to give you more clarity and for you to have a little breather as far as your marriage or your relationship is concerned you're still having second thoughts because even though this had already taken a toll on you 
you still have a lot of feelings for your partner and it's like you know the years that you've already been together it's so hard for you to throw it out and it's so hard for you to just discard everything but you're also right in the middle of how long can I still put up with this? How long can I stay like this? And how long can I, you know, swallow my pride, keep on doing same things over and over again and suffer from an unhappiness and silent uh, misery? You know, it's like my friends don't want to listen to me anymore. My family keeps on saying the same thing and I don't know where to turn to. You know, I keep on getting same kind of advice and it's just a repetitive cycle that you're just, you know, really getting so tired of. Now, on the other hand, your partner feels a little bit defensive. Um, I don't feel like you're thinking about one and the same thing because your partner feels like you are, you know, kind of uh, being influenced by somebody else or there is someone else in the picture. Even though this person is younger than you. Okay, now please take note that this is a general reading. If this doesn't apply to you, check your moon rising. And um, I feel like at this point, you need to... You don't really have to be bothered, you know, if this is not what you're really doing. Although there is really an air sign around you who's uh, who wants to, you know, have a chance with you or who wants to have a life with you as well because knowing your situation i feel like this person is ready to save you now hmm, what does both of you want from each other you on the other hand wants to end it and wants to make a final decision of walking away while your partner still wants to like you know like uh this is only a learning curve there's only a phase that we're going through you need you still need to be a little bit patient with me you know bear with me for a little while and i'll get through that and it's like you really don't want to believe that you know there's still a silver lining to this although i feel like with the proper communication there is still a chance but with you, you just want to start all over again or start a brand new relationship or start, or start a brand new life altogether. So you're no longer in the same page. You're, you don't really have that same intention anymore. I feel like you're just pushing and pushing and pushing for things to really end because you've already had enough. That's number one. Number two, you feel like, you know, there is someone else on the, uh, on the side. So why not? And third, it's like you just couldn't really, you know, take it anymore and you just can't really see yourself putting up with so much drama and maltreatments, even though you've already given enough, okay? So this is what's going on or this is, you know, how do you see each other right now? Now the hurt part. Uh, this is you, this is your partner, and this is, you know, this is your, um, both of you. How you see it, uh, well, how you see your partner and how your partner sees you in the bottom line. You are feeling defensive, walled up, and it's like you're ready to draw the line, you know, that that's it. But as I've said, that you're having a hard time making a final and full decision because after all, you know, with all the struggles and with all the foundation that you've already built together, you still have feelings and you still, ha you know, you still have that love for your partner, but you just couldn't really take it anymore. While your partner feels a little bit cut off and dry and mean and cruel, because, you know, in their mind, the reason why you're acting like this is because there is a different influence. There is somebody who's been pushing you to do this, or there is a reason why you're doing this. And... You know, your partner is only waiting for the right opportunity to, you know, to fix things up and to fix themselves up. At the same time, they feel like if you're ready to go away, then they're, you know, they cannot really do anything anymore but to leave and walk away as well and to set you free. Now, the bottom line here after all of this drama, I feel like, you know, after this after this surge of drama you're the one who will be like um 
wooing your partner or tr will try to make amends or offer peace oh, sorry or you know do a pe uh, peace offering while your partner will you know during the time that they're still ready and they're still you know willing to work things out you said no i don't want to be with you i'm really walking away i'm divorcing you i'm leaving you blah 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 blah, blah. so they were already hurt and now that you are you know when the storm is already over this emotional drama thing is already you know over so you're the one who will be coming forward and will be with your partner and say let's start all over again or i'm sorry let's try it again okay maybe that there's still a chance and then your partner will feel somehow stuck because when they are so ready to move on and when they're so ready to go then there you go okay so that's the reason why they are so confused about what's really going on in your mind and the bottom line is you're gonna have a hard time weathering the storm alone and you're you're gonna have a hard time you know working things out not unless that the two of you will no longer be playing tricks there will be a clean uh startup and i feel like you need to have a little bit of distance for now okay now let's take a look where do you go from here and what is the bottom line it's like this whole thing that's been going on in your relationship it's not really you know how you really look at it and then i'll be using the after tarot deck for the bottom line So where do you go from here? Where are you now? What is causing the problem? There is lack of commitment, lack of um, conviction. Okay, what have you forgotten to respect? What you have forgotten to express? Well, you're both really feisty. We have to move it a little bit closer here so that I can spread the other cards. What are your options? Hmm... Well, as I've said, you need to have a little bit of a distance from each other. And then the bottom line. Let's shuffle again. This is you, this is your partner, and, okay. Mm-hmm. Well, not so bad. I feel like this whole thing, you know, down the line, the two of you will still be working things out. Okay, that's the bottom line. Now, okay. Where do you go from here? Both of you, it's like, you know, it's like for you, you want to go, you want to leave. Your partner feels like, okay, if you want to leave, then I'll leave. But the thing here is, both of you doesn't really want to do that. You're both scared, but you're also being proud. Okay, both at the same time. What's uh, causing the problem? Both of you are starting to get weak. Both of you are not really um, coming up with the right solution, resolving your conflicts the right way. And both of you are acting like, you know, children or uh, teenagers. Okay? So the thing that you've already forgotten to respect 
is one your relationship second you've been overly familiar with each other there's been an abuse as well and i feel like just because that you know that your partner will always be there no matter where you go what you do you know that your partner will always forgive you or your partner feels that way so this is what's going on in your relationship and what you've forgotten to express is that both of you don't really have enough patience for each other anymore there has been a lot of unresolved issues that you did not really discuss the voiced out expressed sit down and talked about okay it's like for you when the other one just wanted to just shut up then the other one will also shut up so and you expect for things to fix on its own without even talking or discussing it you know, without the better communications, no relationship will survive and no relationship will have its own meaning because it's like you are starting a foundation without solidifying it, okay? Like it's so easy to pull it out or it's only a temporary foundation. So the bottom line here is the two of you will still be happy, okay? Down the line, right after all of this storm and right after all of this drama, uh, the storm will pass and the you know the sun will finally see through the clouds for you and then you will be starting a new foundation starting a new i mean it's like there will be a brand new beginning starting all over again you will be a little bit resentful and you know with all the things that you're going to say do and behave and you're the one who's going to be wooing your partner. So the two of you will still be together, okay? You still want the two of you to really stick around. And while your partner, you know, your partner will still try and hold on. But at the same time, they're also going to be a little bit defensive, ready for the battle, ready for the storm again. But yes, they also want to have better communications, better understanding. Where do they really stand in your life? And what is it that's really going on inside your mind? Well, you know, it's so easy for you to vent out to other people while you can't really talk to your partner the proper way, you know? So this is what your partner wants and feels. And I feel like there has been a lot of options that, you know, it, it's like when they are so ready to choose other options or choose other priorities, then there you go again. So then they don't actually know what to do. But in overall, the bottom line for both of you really looks good. I feel like the two of you will be working things out right after around late part of September or last two weeks of September. You will sit down and talk about your differences, what's really going on inside your mind, how you're hurting each other, what are the things that you fail to express and respect, and how will you come up with a solution, okay? Your partner is the one who will make amends and then you, you will feel guilty about all the things that you have said and done and the way that you have behaved. So, looks like, you know, all's well that ends well. I have the two of you will still be together. It's just a little bit of a drama. And, you know, this full moon retrograde phase post shadow faces it's been like you know it will drive people crazy and there will be a lot of miscommunications misunderstandings that one when you say something the other one could you know the other person or other people would interpret it in a in a different way or if you're you know like for example you agreed on something and then your partner will be doing a different thing so it's like you're gonna get pissed off and it's like i thought that we've already discussed this you know i, I thought that this is what we have agreed and then the other person ended up doing their own thing. So this is only a phase. Try to be a little bit more open-minded. Wait for a little while. As I've said, that if you need to, you know, move away for a little while, keep the distance and take a vacation, you know, for yourself and uh, spend some time alone to have a little breather, um, gain some more clarity and, you know, recharge your energy. This is the best thing. All right, so good for you, Aries. I don't see the two of you breaking up. It's just that there will be a whole of drama that you're going to be like going back and forth, back and forth, and you're just going to be confusing your partner. But what do you really want? You know, like, are you going to leave? Or are you going to stay? So I feel like you just both love each other. That's it. You know, that's the bottom line. All right. So anyway, that's it for you for this time, Aries. And if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls, go and visit me at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.